Brett Baer spoke with West Virginia Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito earlier this week. Senator Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia, thanks for being here. Good evening. Nice to be on. Thanks. Obviously, the focus in Washington has been and will be likely for the next few weeks at least uh, impeachment. And it seems like it's heading towards your side of the Capitol with you as a juror. As you sit here tonight, having watched what you've watched, how do you see this? Well, I see it as the political blunt instrument that it has been through the entire process. Uh, when the hearings were private, it was pretty obvious that the Democrats uh, were using this as a way to, uh, you know, be destructive to the Trump, to President Trump himself. And then when it comes into the public uh, arena over the last several weeks, I think it's shown itself again to be a very divisive. Uh, uh, very partisan exercise and discouraging to the American public. But I will, it will be coming over uh, probably to the Senate. I will be a juror. So, you know, I'm all ears, of course, uh, to try to uh, figure that out once it comes onto my plate. Well, to that point, uh, one of the people making the case is the House Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff. Here is his closing argument, in essence, at the end of that committee hearing. Okay. When the founders provided a mechanism in the Constitution for impeachment, they were worried about what might happen if someone unethical took the highest office in the land and used it for their personal gain. And in my view, there is nothing more dangerous than an unethical president who believes they are above the law. So there, there are some Republicans, uh, Will Heard from Texas, others, who said that what the president did and how he did it was inappropriate, but not impeachable. Well, I think Are you he, in that camp? Well, I think probably that uh, his his inquiries could could be construed as such, but all the evidence that we've seen have been second and third hand evidence. So I'll take what Adam Schiff in his own words and the the seriousness with which he said it. I think he protests too much in his 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 closing statement uh, because he knows uh, that the facts are not there. The president hasn't been able to defend himself. And so the uh, process has been very much not what our founders wanted and not what our rule of law is founded on, but is being used as a divisive partisan exercise. And it's not doing justice to our system. The Washington Examiner this week uh, had this in an opinion piece saying Republicans should admit that Trump's demands on Ukraine were improper. If they are reasonably enough unconvinced that impeachment is the remedy, they should take other actions to steer Trump toward putting true national interests over petty personal interests. Is censure something that you think the Senate is going to look at? Well, I think that you can see that uh, drumbeat beginning to develop in the House of Representatives. Several members, or at least one member, has mentioned that already. Uh, I don't, uh, I think it's going to be predicated really on what the House brings over to the Senate and what is laid on the Senate's plate in terms of the articles of impeachment. You know, I think that uh, if you look at the whole transcript of the phone call, w within the few minutes or so that the president, uh, you know, made a statement about investigating corruption and mentioning an opponent, yeah, maybe that wasn't the uh, exact proper way, but the corruption issue is still, I think, a very viable issue in, in Ukraine and, uh, and something that we know that if we just fund countries without where the money's going to go, without looking at corruption, uh, we're going to get what we deserve back, which is not satisfaction. If you look at this latest Q poll out this week, it said, should uh, Trump be removed? impeached and removed from office. It's upside down now, a 48 no, 45 yes. That has flipped from October. If you took a poll in West Virginia, where would it be today? Uh, if we took a poll in West Virginia, it would be 65% uh, no impeachment, uh, and it would be 100% why don't you do the jobs that you're sent to do, which is to uh, fund the government, uh, support the military, and move forward on the uh, really important issues of the day? And you think that this process so far has already impeded big legislative efforts? It has. We haven't gotten uh, the National Defense Authorization passed. We haven't passed uh, USMCA, the trade package, with our neighbors, our Mexico and Canada, which we know would be very useful to my state. For the life of me, I can't figure out why that hasn't come forward, except the House of Representatives doesn't want to give the president a win going into the election. We have an election in November. That's what elections are for. Last thing, you were just uh, on a congressional delegation overseas, and you went to Afghanistan. I did. Speaking of the U.S. military, 
We've been there on the ground for a long time. Your thoughts about that and the effort to get U.S. troops back home? Well, I think we have 14,000 troops there right now. Uh, it was not lost on me uh, that the, uh, the areas that we're working on in, in terms of ca counterterrorism, whether it's the Taliban or ISIS or Al Qaeda, are exceedingly important that we help the Afghan National Forces and the Afghan National Police and the government of uh, Afghanistan to secure more and more of their territory. Because if we don't, and if we don't work in that train, advise, and assist capacity that we've been helping them with, um, they're going to be overtaken again by very violent uh, terrorist groups, which then endangers our homeland. It's about what's good for our own security. And, and while it's been long and hard and costly in a lot of lives and treasure, I think that in the end, keeping to help support them. The morale of the troops is great. So proud of them when we get to see them. And for the people who say, hey, 19 plus years, uh, we've done our, our duty there. I understand that. Uh, and, and there are times when I feel that way myself. But I think we can do uh, a lot more with a lot less uh, and put a lot less lives in danger if we follow the course that we've that we've uh, put forward. We're, we're planning to draw down. I mean, I think that's that's obvious. And uh, the military leaders, uh, along with our NATO partners, feel that that's very much in order. Uh, as that uh, Afghanistan government, we, we've got to strengthen that. That is a weak point right now because they've had an election that's under um, under question. And and so I think. As frustrating as it is and, and, and difficult it is for the American public, we've got to look at our homeland security and stabilizing that region of the, of the world is part of our own homeland security. Senator Shelley Moore, Capital of West Virginia. Senator, thanks for the time. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving.